shall we lift up our two hearts to heaven and magnify Jesus one more time, celebrate him, lift him up on high. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. The fourth service is our miracle service. It's packaged specially for those who require the hand of God in one area of their lives or another. Today, everyone here is going back home with an undeniable proof of God's hand on their life. Every day is a miracle day in God's agenda. Every day is a miracle day in God's agenda. For I've heard during the time I've accepted and the day of salvation I've succored you, he said, Behold, now is the accepted time, and today is the day of salvation. Let me hear you say, Every day is God's day. Therefore, every day is miracle day. Therefore, every day is miracle day. There's a miracle for me here right now. God has packaged a miracle for me right here. I'm taking my package from here. I'm taking my package from here. Shout hallelujah. Give the Lord a big hand and please take your seat. We started a series in the morning today on her, um, engaging the power of prayer and fasting for vengeance. But in this service, I'd like us to recognize that every child of God is born a miracle. But that is constantly resisted by the enemy to make you look ordinary. Every child of God is born a miracle. John chapter 3 and verse 8. The wind blew it where it listed and you hear the sound thereof. You can't tell where it's coming or where it's going. He says, so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. So every born again child of God is born to live a supernatural life. To live an inexplainable life. Every child of God. A miracle is an inexplainable act. It is the finger of God at work. The magician said, this is the finger of God, let's lead them. This is the finger of God. This is the finger of God. This is the finger of God. So every child of God is born to manifest the finger of God. To manifest the finger of God as a lifestyle. Miracles are not the things that must happen to you when there is a problem. You are supposed to be a working miracle. That is, before problems land on the ground, answers is waiting for them. Every child of God is born to live the miraculous life. I and the children which God has given to me, they are for signs and for wonders from the Lord of hosts who dwells among Zion. So, they, they, every child of God, Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 18, every child of God is ordained to live the miraculous life. <laughs> Every child of God is ordained to live the miraculous life, to live a life to be wondered at. Zechariah 3 8. Joshua, the high priest, and that sat with them, they are men wondered at. Men wondered at. They are men that are wondered at. You are to be wondered at. What kind of man is this? Like they said about Jesus, what manner of man is this? That is God's eternal plan for you and for me. But the Bible said they know not, neither would they understand, so they walk on in darkness. So they lost total control. All the foundation of the earth. I have said, Ye are gods, 
I've said here for signs and for wonders, and they are making you look ordinary. I've said you are for signs and you are for wonders, and you are adapted to the environment, the natural environment. I've said that you are celestial, but you are constantly living the terrestrial life. I have said ye are gods, ye are supernatural beings. And I mean all of you. How many of them? He said, all of you that are children of the Most High God, you are ordained to live in the realm of the supernatural. He said, but because you don't understand that you will die like men and fall like one of the princes. Say, God forbid. I decree, therefore, divine illumination in these days of fasting that will help you to recognize the reality of your new position. Amen. Somebody believe that. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. amen. 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 How do I trigger the supernatural? If that is what I'm ordained, the realm I'm ordained to operate in, how do I trigger the supernatural? How to trigger the supernatural? So the Bible says, whatever it tells you to do, what do you do? Do it. Whatever it tells you to do, what do you do? Do it. Whatever it tells you to do, what do you do? Do it. Whatever it tells you to do, what do you do? Do it. Whatever it tells you to do, what do you do? Do it. One of the things we have not been doing is thinking that our problem is with God and not with the enemy. And not knowing how to deal with the enemy. God is not your problem. God is never my problem. My adversary is not God. My adversary is the devil. He said, be sober, be vigilant, because when your adversary, the devil, goeth about as a roaring lion, seeking who to rob. So the devil is your adversary, not God. God cannot be the adversary of his own children. He's a loving father. So that sickness is not from God. God will only take glory from it by healing you. And this hour is your hour of healing. Yeah. How do I trigger the, the, the supernatural? One, by invoking. The number one thing is to invoke vengeance on your adversary. Hmm. To flow and continue to flow in the supernatural, you must first and foremost disarm the strong man. You know, when a strong man, fully armed, keepeth his goods, his goods are in safety. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him, he will take away the arms in which he trusts and he will divide his voice. Luke 11, 21 and 22. Is holding your stuff and is fully armed, you have to disarm him. He's <laughs> holding your stuff and is fully armed. He's holding your miracle baby. Holding your children. He's holding your job. He's <laughs> holding your marital destiny. He's holding your promotion. He's holding down your head. Until vengeance answers on the head of the strong man, you can't get your stuff back. Until vengeance answers on the head of the strong man, you can get your stuff back. Because we have lost the vengeance mentality. 
we have remained helpless victims. We serve a vengeance God. <laughs> and as ordained vengeance as our secret card for flowing in the supernatural. And we have to engage it. Having the light is one, walking in the light is another. Some are bothered that we cause. No. We are taught to cause. He, God, taught us to cause. Jesus taught us to cause. The Holy Ghost showed us how he causes. Let's look at God from the beginning. Revelation, Genesis chapter 12 and verse 3. Hmm? He that blesses you, I will bless. I will bless them that bless thee and cause him that cause it. That is me, God. You know, because this is my plan. But there are people and for that must be caused for my plan to deliver. So I will bless them that are happy with my plan for your life. And I will cause them that are angry. Because my plan must deliver. God's plan for your total head was sealed at the cross. And the enemy is holding your head package back. He said, I will cause him to release it. He calls him, he won't release it. You don't beg the wicked. The more you beg him, the more wicked he becomes. You don't beg the wicked, you cause the wicked. God is a cursing God. If you are not a cursing child, you have a problem. God is a cursing God. Whatever is holding down any aspect of your life is due for a cause. It's entitled to a cause. Somebody's hearing something here. So your total health must be restored. Your career must have color. Your business must experience expansion. Your family must be a happy home. Your marital destiny must be released. And in Mark chapter 10, I'm beginning from verse 17. Jesus caused a fig tree and they said to him, Master, the fig tree without causes is withered away. Mark 11. And he said, Have faith in God. Amen. That God will back whatever you cause off. Why did he cause it? It was mocking him. Whatever mocks your destiny in Christ is entitled to a cause. Whatever. He has set the solid tree in families. You have found favor with God in salvation. And marriage is part of the manifestations of his favor. So whatever is resisting your marriage is mocking God's agenda. And it's entitled to what? A cause. Whatever said you will not get married over his dead body, we die. Yes, and you will get married in a grand style. Yes, we had a testimony here years ago. A woman said to someone, he said, have you ever seen a baby on the back of a snail? Eh? He said, let me see how you carry a child. And Jesus broke through. A bouncing baby boy showed up. That miserable person must have died somewhere. I can tell you this. Whatever mocks your destiny in Christ is entitled to a cause. And a cause means the wrath of God being vented in your favor. Your enemy must carry God's vengeance this month. Then we saw him as chapter 13 and verse 8. There was a man by name Sergius Paulus who was the deputy governor of that city. 
And he had a sorcerer. You know, most of these politicians have uh, native doctors that divine for them, or malams. So Elimas was the native doctor. He was the malam of Sergius Paulus. And when Paul was flowing under the anointing, he was resisting the word. And Paul, being filled with the Holy Ghost, he set his eyes on him and said, Oh, full of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil, the enemy of all righteousness, will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? Behold! Verse 11. Now, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell a mist from him. And somebody had, he, he became blind on the spot. The Holy Ghost struck him. So the Father causes, Jesus caused, the Holy Ghost causes, then you don't belong to the family, you don't cause. You don't, you belong to a causeful family. A family that's anointed to cause. To vent vengeance on the enemy. Whatever arrow may have been shot into your body that the doctors are looking for and can't find, vengeance must answer on the heads of your captors. Somebody believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. Many have done interviews, they do it almost every week, and have never got a job. One year has passed, two years has passed, three years has passed. He has forgotten all that he learned in school, yet has never got a job. Whatever he's saying, you can go to school, but you never get a job. Vengeance will hit them this month. That's the way it works. The God of your vengeance, the God of vengeance, is the way to your victory. You need to engage the vengeance of God in order to stop being a victim of life and circumstances. You need to engage the vengeance of God. He said, whatever He tells you to do, what do you do? Do it. Whatever He tells you to do, what do you do? Do it. Whatever He tells you to do, what do you do? Do it. Whatever He tells you to do, what do you do? Do it. This is your chance for a new beginning. So anything that causes you and anything that mocks you, they are entitled to a cause. They are entitled to the vengeance of God. They are entitled to the wrath of God. Therefore, I decree that whatever is resisting your inheritance in Christ, be caused today. Yeah. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Number three, whatever resists what belongs to you. You see, Israel was ordained for liberty after 400 years. But there was heavy resistance from Pharaoh and the gods of Egypt. They were challenging the agenda of the God of heaven. They were resisting the delivery of God's agenda. And in Exodus chapter 11 and verse 1 to 5, God said, I'm going to bring out my judgment card. I will bring out my vengeance card. And after that, he will let you go. In fact, he will throw you out of the place. I, I am going to strike. God said, I will strike. <laughs> he said, the Lord thy God shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. God said, watch it, I'm going to strike. And he will throw you out. You know, if they're holding you down, you'll be too hot. You'll be hot fire. Hot coal. He will throw you out. Whatever has been holding down what belongs to you will be urgent upon you to go. 
You know what he said? Go, 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 or we'll be all dead men. That God is striking in your favor right now. <laughs> Say with me, whatever is holding down anything that belongs to me. In whatsoever form, the devil or any of his agents, Lord, make today the day of your wrath against them. Strike through them. Fill the ground with their dead bodies. Psalm 110 and verse 4 and 5. You know, the Lord has sworn. <laughs> what has He sworn? I will strike through kings in the day of my wrath. Verse 5. God has sworn that He will glorify the church before Jesus arrives. And to do that, I will strike through kings in the day of my wrath. God, let your wrath come heavy upon my adversaries. I must be free today. Somebody must be made well today. Somebody must be set free today. Anyone and anything that won't let you go, I decree that they go for you today. Is somebody still there? We need to engage the vengeance dimension of our head, of our spiritual life. We need to engage it or we'll never become free. We need to engage the vengeance of God for our freedom, for our glorious liberty. We need to engage the vengeance of God. Somebody's taking his healing right now. <laughs> Somebody's taking his deliverance right now. So God struck in Egypt and all the firstborn in the land of man and of beast. Beginning from the house of Pharaoh, all the firstborn was slain. There was a cry in Egypt so that they have never had before in life. For there was no house where there was no dead body. So if the firstborn has died, the one that is taking his place dies. There must be number one in every house. So if the number one they had died, the other one must die in every house. So there was one dead in every house. One was there were, when God's anger answers, all hell we know it. Lord, let your anger be unleashed in my favor. Unleash your anger in my favor. Unleash your anger. I am due for liberty. I am due for total hell. Until your anger, upon which is a witch that vow to keep me going. Unleash your anger. In my favor. Unleash your anger in my favor. Enough! It's enough! Enough! It's enough! Unleash your anger in my favor. Thank you, Father. Exodus 22 and verse 18. God does not believe in salvation of witches. No, God does not believe. He didn't ask us to do that. He shall not suffer a witch to. Don't give him a chance. So everyone bewitching your destiny, I declare their death. I decree their death. Everyone bewitching your destiny, I decree their death. I decree their death. I decree their death. I decree your liberty. I decree your liberty. Whatever it tells you to do, he said, whatever tree my heavenly father has not planted, they shall be uprooted. So the planter of that evil tree and the tree itself, I decree them cursed in the name of Jesus. You will hear news. January will not end before the news reach you. The one bewitching you will confess it before the time. 
Is somebody still here? Most people in the church are mere appeal victims of the wicked. They are pure victims of the wicked. And we have kept watching them, so we remain victims. At this hour, I'd like you to be awake. Watch the devil have a few day around your life. It is, you are long overdue for a holy reaction. Holy reaction. You are long overdue for a holy reaction. You are long overdue for a holy reaction. And the prayer fasting provides a platform for you to deal with every enemy taunting your life one after the other. They must all give up. I said they must all give up. Somebody believes that. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 2 and verse 1. We read in the book of Psalms, chapter 2 and verse 1 beginning. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves together, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their courts from us. He that seated in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. God's agenda is to afflict your enemy. He said it will vex them. Mean it will afflict them. It will afflict them. You know what the Bible says? I have found David my servant. With my holy oil of anointed him, he said the enemy will not torment him anymore. In that the sense of wickedness afflict him. He said, I will plague his enemies before his face. I will, I will afflict his enemies before, and plague them that hate him. God's agenda is to plague your haters. Psalm 89 verse 20 to 24. God's plan is to plague them that hate you. Just like the Boko Haram is against the church, this week, Lord liveth, vengeance of God will plague them. <laughs> Deeper life on Tuesday, I killed 12 people in a prayer meeting. The CAC church in Jimeta and killed eight people in a prayer meeting. Abba, he that sitteth in heaven shall love, because he has determined what to do against them. Therefore, the Boko Haram sect is caused from his own. We cause them with the causes of God. We cause them with the causes of Christ. We cause them by the Holy Ghost. Please join me. Get up on your feet. Open fire in the Holy Ghost. Open fire in the Holy Ghost. Enough! Open fire in the Holy Ghost. Reketosia bradaya tiza. Zekata, we declare you cursed in the name of Jesus. We declare you cursed in the name of Jesus. We declare you cursed in the name of Jesus. Your lines of supplies are cursed. Your sponsors are cursed. Your back is broken. In the name of Jesus. Come on, pray in the spirit of the body. Locate a cote, 
Yakashada, Yekorede, Ezuzia, Baketia, Yekaruto, Beretizia, Bakatale, Yekashada, Rekotokoto, Berabarata, Yekian Kato, Yekian Kato, Zizia Roto, Bredia Lota, Yakatazozi, Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please get seated just a little while. He said, I will avenge my elect speedily. <laughs> so, you have to become his elect before you are entitled to his vengeance. Wherever you are in this service, before we do our miracle prayer, the miracle word is gone forth because we are bound to be free today. Today is your day of liberty. I said today is your day of liberty. Anyone and everyone here that is not saved and born again yet, that's what entices you to God's vengeance. And shall not, shall not the Lord avenge his own elect that cause upon him night and day? He said, I tell you, he will avenge them speedily. So if you are here, you are not one of his elect yet. Please get up on your feet so we can pray with you first and make you a partake of this blessing so you don't become a victim. Wherever you are, you want to be saved, please get up on your feet. God bless you as you stand. Get up on your feet. God bless you as you stand. Everyone that wants to give his life to Jesus, just get up on your feet. There are also people here today that want to rededicate their lives to Jesus. Maybe you are there. Please get up on your feet. We'd like to pray with you. You want to reconnect back to God. You want to be restored back in the faith? Please get up on your feet. God bless us, you stand. God bless us, you stand. Somebody else needs to get up right now. Do that quickly. Do that quickly. Do that quickly. All of us who are standing in the first group and the second, please come around the altar area where you'll be prayed for. Amen. If you do not have the expectation prayer card for, sh for the 21 day prayer and fasting, and um, a radin, our uh, annual 21 day prayer and fasting that was read to us, the epistle. Please signify raise your hand. Ushers will give that to you right now, wherever you are. Everyone that needs a copy, raise your hands and then ushers, please help out and give this to them before we pray. You need your copies, please raise your hands wherever you are and they will give that to you right now, the two of them. Glory to God. Somebody else is coming. Please come and join us quickly. Come and join us quickly. The, the doors are still wide open. Jesus is still waiting to receive many more. You want to be saved or you want to re be restored back in the faith? You want to dedicate your life to Christ? Just come down in front here. Come down in front right now. Come down right now. Come down right now. Come down right now. Wherever you are. Keep coming. Keep coming. This is your chance for a change of story. Keep coming. This is your chance for a change of story. Keep coming. This is your chance for a change of story. Keep coming. While we're praying for them, please know that the prayer and fasting begins tomorrow. And we'll be holding services every day of the week at the Zona Fellowship Center. And the time is 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And people to be part of that because we're sharing communion at the end of each of the services in breaking our fast. And then um, please note also that doing without food is not equal to fasting. It is engaging spiritually in the process that equals a fasting. Doing without food equals dieting. But when you engage in prayer, you engage in searching scriptures, then you are too late in a fast that produces results. In these 21 days, yours will not be dieting, it shall be fasting. And the rewards of fasting will be undeniably shown in your own life. It won't be the end of the and find that you see results every day will bring you its own unique result. That means the month will be a month of commotion of testimonies, tearful testimonies, God glorifying testimonies in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Please, all of us in front, let's bow our heads right now to pray. Also, remember that every Friday, the only this 21 day of fasting is a breakthrough night. And so next Friday is a breakthrough night, the first one, and we're going to be administering the blood of sprinkling, our stronghold in battle. Can I hear your amen?
All of us in front, bow your heads right now as we pray and lift up your right hand before the Most High God. And pray this prayer of faith with me. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I open my heart to you. Come into my heart. Lord Jesus, forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. On the third day, you rose again that I might be justified. Right now, I believe I am forgiven. I'm justified. I'm saved. I'm restored. I'm born again. I'm a child of God. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Keep those hands up. Father, Lord, I pray over these precious lives. Your power brought them here. Let the same power preserve them. For everyone giving his life to Christ for the first time today, grace to abide you when he returns. Receive it right now. For everyone rededicating his or life to Christ today, grace never to walk away again. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I come with the precious blood of Jesus. No more satanic assault on your life. Welcome to a new life. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Congratulations. Please, when you get home, take time to read the content of the material given you. You'll be more than blessed. We'll be glad to have you to be part of this winning family. Everyone testifies in this church. Your testimony is just around the corner. In Jesus' name, God bless you and be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Isaiah 52 and verse 1. And after this, we are going to pray. Isaiah 52 Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Verse 2 together, come and let's read. Shake thyself from the dust, arise and see them, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy necks, O captive daughter of Zion. How many are ready to take responsibility right now? How many are ready to take responsibility right now? Loose thyself from the bands of thy necks, O captive daughter of Jerusalem. Loose thyself. I'd like you to get up on your feet and we shall begin to invoke vengeance on our captors. If anyone is suffering any affliction, it is the adversary. If he has not let go, it is because you have not invoked vengeance. Can I hear your amen? Now open fire. Begin to invoke the vengeance on, of God upon every of your adversary. I must go free. It is my birthright right to be free.
Take your health back. Take your family back. Take your career back. Take your medical job. Take your healing right now. Somebody is breaking fast right now. Take it back, take it back. Come out. Take it back. Satan, I curse you. I know your agents responsible for every form of discomfort around my life. Satan, I curse you. I curse the activities of your agents. Everyone bewitching my destiny. Die. Jesus, precious name. Lift up just your hands. If anyone is carrying any plague on his or her body, put your right hand on it. You have invoked vengeance. Vengeance has answered. Therefore, I decree right now your instant deliverance in the name of Jesus. Jesus, now in the name of Jesus. Everyone appointed to death by any form of terminal disease, be delivered in the name of Jesus. Every strange movement in your body, I command them to cease in the name of Jesus. I command your eyes to be open. I command your ears to be healed. In the name of Jesus. Cancer is cursed in your body. The agents of the devil that put it there, they are cursed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. This week is declared your testimony week. As we engage in this prayer and fasting, begin to harvest your testimony. In Jesus' name, shout a thunderous Amen. We are going to see this miracle time with the communion. And the communion for today is to give you divine energy for the three weeks ahead. Come and see how receive it. In 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 7 and 10, the Bible said, An angel of the Lord came and tapped Elijah and said, Arise and eat, for the journey is long for thee. And he gave him the cake and the water. And he went in the energy of that food for 40 days and 40 nights to the mountain of God. Now, as you partake of this communion, you will be a surprise to yourself. It will be your hottest prayer season. You will be searching scriptures with utmost delight. Searching scriptures will be like eating for you. Reading anointed books will be like eating for you. Listening to anointed messages will be like eating for you. It shall be your most glorious spiritual adventure ever. Lift up your two hands and take that from this table right now. I receive transmission of divine energy. Stewards, please take your position. I am not dieting. These three weeks I'm tapping into power. I'm not dieting. I am tapping into power. I'm changing level.
these three weeks, I am not dieting. I'm tapping into power. I'm changing level. I'm assessing thunderous revelation. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Miracles have started taking place. And as we are taking the communion, it is being sealed. And so just get excited and be expectant. We are all in a miracle session. Jesus is Lord. Please get seated. The choir ministers in songs and then we start um, receiving. At the mention of your name. Lift up those two hands to heaven and celebrate Jesus for his touch on your life this hour. Thank you, Father. Take all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We have a whole week for you to share. Start sharing your testimonies from Monday. God's hand is upon you already. And next Friday we'll be here at 11 p.m. It shall be a glorious time in God's presence. Uh, do all you can. The race has started. What do you do? Hit the ground running. The race has started. The more effective your takeoff, the more enviable your outcome. So have a great takeoff by pursuing after Jesus with everything inside you. Don't wait for who to carry you. You may waste the whole year. Move. Just keep moving. Everything inside you must be moving after God. God does not raise people that they carry about. He raises those who follow him. He said, follow me and I will make you. They can't fast for you. They can't pray for you. You have to fast for yourself. You have to pray for yourself. You have to pursue after God as an individual or you'll be left behind. When people are moving and you're not moving, you are likely to be trapped, trampled. You have to be trampled. You are likely to be trampled upon. So, come on, get on the move. We are riding on the waves of glory. Get on the move. You don't ride with somebody else holding hands. No. You solve the waves as individuals. So, it's your turn. Glory to God. That man waited for 30, 38 years, waiting for who we carry him to the water. No. 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 You always end up a victim waiting. Don't wait. Move. He said, no, you know that the race run all and one receive the prize. So what? Wrong. If you want to be a prize winner at the end of the year, what do you do? Run. And start running now. Start running now. Don't let them look at you as somebody who has problem. You can't look like someone having a problem and become a solution. You are what you look like. You are what you look like. Somebody said to me, Brother David, what needs have you in your ministry? I said, our ministry has no needs. My wife was not comfortable because the answer was rough. <laughs> our ministry has no needs. 1987. Our ministry has no needs. Don't let them make you look needy. I mean, you go to work five times a week on your own. Why must they carry you to Sona Fellowship Center? For what? You don't need God. Then go somewhere else. You need God more. No one has ever carried my I've carried myself ever since. And it's about 43 or 44 years now. You better move. Only those who make moves go forward. You better make moves. Don't look at the water in front of you and be saying, yeah, 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 no man. No man what? And you are saying that you have never seen your problem? No one. Put your leg inside the water waiting for the angel to come. You won't die. Angel, anytime you come, there's no question of asking who came first. You met me here. <laughs> the, the question of who came first does not arise. You met me here. God is good. Is somebody excited? Is somebody excited? Is somebody excited? Shout a thunderous Amen!
Say with me, I refuse to be carried about. I am not a paralytic. I am not a cripple. I will move by my head. You can't find somebody being carried as winner. No. The prize winners are the ones who knows how to do what? To run. Run on their own. Mama carry me. You don't use Mama carry me to win a prize. Your leg must carry you. You use your leg to hit the ground running. This year you must end it as a prize. Somebody ended last as a ma- with a mansion. A mansion. Gallo before ended the year as a mansion. God will hit you with blessings. So hit the ground running. Don't say, okay, they are praying today, they are fasting. I, this week I don't feel comfortable about fasting because my doctor said I should be eating three times a day. <laughs> Amen. Why did you look for the doctor when fasting is coming? You look for the doctor to avoid the fasting. Some have planned out to travel because these three weeks is not comfortable for me. I have business meeting in Jamaica. <laughs> That's not me. I'm running to win the prize. I am running to win the prize. Lift up your two hands. Now the grace to end up the year as a prize winner. Receive it now. In Jesus name. As the Lord liveth, there shall be no calamity in your household. There shall be no evil depart from your family. In Jesus name. Well, before we share the goodness, so this edition of Science and Wonders is here. The cost of riding on the waves of glory. We release it to bless mankind worldwide in Jesus' name. In church last Sunday, please look out for this. If you are, you needed to refresh yourself and be sure what you are doing uh, with the message. Please get it. Testimony that will help to illuminate you for your own testimonies. Give God thanks in one minute. If anything has happened to you in the course of this service, lift up your hands and give God thanks. In Jesus' precious name, go in peace. May this year be the most glorious year of your life to date. May this month be your sweetest spiritual adventure ever. It is declared a month of testimonies. In all areas of your life, your family, your business, your career, your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, it is declared a, week, a month of testimonies. Let us together share the goodness of the Lord in fellowship. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Glory!